Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to cut down on the time spent in the signing process of a transaction using Legatix tools. So we'll look at how to make a signature pack and how to collate documents much quicker than with using traditional tools like Adobe. Here we have an M&A transaction with 22 documents, but you can use Legatix and the collate feature on a transaction with hundreds of documents. In Legatix, you can then automatically organize, store, and track your documents progress. And what this feature does is it solves the problem of trying to use your desktop folders as a document management system by juggling different folders, different versions of the documents, and trying to figure out which documents have been signed and where they are in your transaction process. So to create signature packs, all you have to do is select the documents you want included in your signature pack. So in our case, you want to select all the documents, hit actions, and then create signature packs. What Legatix AI system will do is that it will find all the signature pages in a huge stack of documents. And then you can go ahead and review that it's um, selected the correct signature pages and that the signature pages that it's selected match the signatories. So in this case, for example, this asset purchase agreement, it selected the signature page, um, page two. So all you have to do is check Jane um, and John here, and then you hit next. Once you've finished matching, click Create Signature Packs and then include documents, rename files, select download. And that's it. And in a moment, I'll show you how long it would take if you're using something like Adobe. This is what your downloads will look like. They'll be split up between the parties and signatories into two folders like this. And then if you select signatories, you'll find the diff different signatories, so Jane and John. And then if we uh, click further, you'll find the documents that are being signed automatically downloaded and then the signature pack. So this is what a signature pack will look like and it will contain the following information. We have the name of the signatory, the name of the transactional file, the documents that need to be signed and the pages of those documents that need to be signed. And then if we scroll down to the following pages, you'll find um, each page of the signature pack and those pages match these documents here. What I like most about um, Legatix is that instead of receiving individual signature pages or multiple documents flying into your mailbox and trying to keep up with the status of each document, this work is automated by Legatix. So signed documents may come back in different times, formats, and then you have to rename the documents to latest or signed versions and try to keep track of all of that if you're using your desktop folders as your document management system. And so Legatix will automatically do that for you will change the document's status to sent, signed, or if uh, pages have been extracted to extracted. So what's the alternative if you are going to create a signature pack using something like Adobe? You'd um, hit create PDF, multiple files, combine files. And then before you add the files, you would have to have a folder on your desktop with all the latest versions. So you'd have all the versions that you need at once. And then upon having all those versions, you're going to have to make sure that they're named correctly. And if the order matters, you have to make sure that you name accordingly. And then we're going to add all the documents to include. And then this is where the real work starts. You have to go to each individual document and expand that document. And then one by one, you have to delete the non-signature pages. So you delete each non-signature page and you do that for each document. So we move on to the next document and you and you continuously do that until you've finished each document and then all the documents you want included in your signature pack. So you can imagine if it's a 200 page or 200 document um, transaction, how long that would take you. And also considering um, possible errors and time wasted doing something that could be automated. So then you'd have to, once you've um, selected the signature pages, you... Select all the pages, hit combine, and then Adobe will make your signature your signature binder for you. But it also won't include things like uh, this um, index page here, which would be very helpful for your signatories. So you can imagine how long it would take you to make an index page like this. And what it also wouldn't do is that Legatix will have a integration with DocuSign, so then you can automatically send out your documents to the signatories, and then it will automatically update the progress of those documents. So now let's say we've received our signed pages in our signature pack, and we're now ready to collate our documents, meaning it's time for us to pick our signature pages and put them back in their respective documents and positions without messing up the formatting of the text, putting pages in the wrong place, or accidentally leaving pages out. So this process is automated by Legatix using your signature pack, 
and we're going to compare the process to using Adobe. What you need to do is upload your signed pages as one signature pack. And this matching process is just a confirmation that um, you've signed, you have all the documents signed and you want to slot them into the correct document. You don't have to remember which page it was on. You just have to match the document with the signatories. So in this case, the signature pack, we need to click the uh, asset purchase agreement and then confirm that it's uh, Jane and John. Next page, closing document, confirm the signatories, ETC. Once you finish the matching process, your documents will be updated to ready to collate. And now it's a matter of selecting all the documents that you want included in your collated documents. So if we hit collate, and that's it. You've slotted each signature page back into its original position, but Collate will label these as draft executed versions to allow you to make further edits to the executed versions. So for instance, you can add dates or te text to your documents. And if you click thumbnails only, what you'll get is all the pages laid out like this. And then you can go ahead and rearrange if you decide to and delete any blank pages or just verify that everything's in the correct place. Once you've finished making edits, click collate. The executed versions are then saved in brackets as executed and all of the documents have their status changed, updated automatically. So let's say you were trying to collate these documents using Adobe. It would take you just as much time as it took you to create binders. So it would take you hours upon hours. And then the longer the transaction, the longer it would take you. And then obviously you're more prone to errors. So what you would do is you would first have your folder. And uh, these are all the documents that are part of the transaction, including your signature pack. So you would open your signature pack in Adobe. Once you've opened your signature pack in Adobe, you would unbundle it and then you would delete um, all these signature packs because what we're trying to do, trying to do is to uh, make singular documents that we're going to slot in. So you would delete all of these until you're left with um, just one and then you would save that as the document sign signature page. So we'd save that as um, the pur asset purchase agreement signature page. Then we would do the same thing for closing documents. We would open the signature pack, unbundle it, delete all these other sig signature pages here and be left with one signature page. And then we would save it as the closing document signature page. Then in order to have the collated document, you have two options. What you can do is you can combine the non-signature page and this page here. And then unbundle this delete the non-signed copy, and then add um, this page here. So then you would save this, combine this, and save this as the executed asset purchase agreement. So if these are all the documents in your transaction, you'd have to do this for, the, for every document, asset purchase agreement, closing document, ETC, um, as we go down the line. Or what you could also do, but would take you just as much time, is you would open the closing document, or the document you're trying to collate and then you would reorganize the pages and then you have the option here to insert a page from a file so you would now you'd still have to save the individual signature pages by the way insert the signature page then you have the option of where to insert it so let's say we're going to insert it after page four because that's where it belongs they will slide it in and then you delete the non-signed page and then you have your collated copy for that document. And then you save that copy as the complete closing document. So you do that individually for each document. And then you do that for the entire transaction. So you can imagine how long that would take. It would take you the same amount of hours that it took you uh, when you were creating the binder. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Catch you on the next one.